And if we look back on our project tab, we can see the specifications that our custom sofa has progressed all the way to needs to be invoiced, indicating that everything is done with the vendor. Ideally, the sofa is over at the Carter's and we need to create an invoice for the balance due. Let's go ahead and do so. So we'll close our specifications, back to accounting, and we'll go under accounts receivable, client invoices. And we have our familiar new and existing tabs. To create a new client invoice, click the add invoice button, and we'll enter in the Carter's project code. And on the new invoice window, we're back to seeing not those constituent components of the frame, fabric, and trim, but rather the custom sofa itself, along with all the other items that I have not yet invoiced in full. And just like the proposal window, if I wanted to see all of my items in the project, I can click the show all option, and now we can see items that I have indeed invoiced to completion. Like I said in the beginning though, I like my list nice and tidy as possible, so I usually don't use the show all option, and I further like to narrow down my new invoice window with the proposal filter, and I can focus just on items on a given proposal like our custom sofa proposal three. There we go. Again, making my new invoice window as manageable as possible. Today's date is just fine for the invoice date, transaction description. This will not appear on the invoice document itself. It's only for internal use. I will go for custom sofa. And now we select or tag our custom sofa, which recalculates all of our totals in the bottom left. Total price, there's our sales tax. Notice, here's Design Manager automatically utilizing our deposit that we recorded of 220350, reducing the balance due down to 2654.85. And if we click OK from here, we have our invoice on our new tab waiting for printing and posting. We can print our journal, now we click print post. We can choose our format. I like to use modern again, it's my favorite uh, of, the, of these uh, selections, it's just the most contemporary and it keeps a very uh, consistent format for my proposals and invoices. And I'll, again, I'll use the picture option to show uh, the custom sofa on the invoice to the carters. And if we click OK, we'll get our print preview of the invoice. And there it is. <clears throat> so very similar to our proposal format. We have our logo at the top. We have invoice. I can see my invoice number and the project code, project name. I even have the proposal number being listed since I used my proposal number filter. In the invoice, I want to see the billing site and shipping addresses, the body, very similar to our proposal format. We have our location, description of custom sofa. There's our image, quantity and unit of measure, unit and total prices. Excuse me. All of our information is totaled along the right-hand side. We have our subtotal. Notice now we have our freight of $220 being displayed. One of the configurations that I implemented for the Carter's Bring and Team Beach House was I want Design Manager to catch any freight or shipping charges from our vendors and automatically pass them on to the clients upon invoicing. Not only do I want to pass on the charge, I want to add on a 10% markup for any incidentals. So recall that Century charged us $200 to ship the custom sofa off to the Carters. So Design Manager is realizing that fact and marking it up 10%. So we'll be having a freight charge to the Carters of $220. That way Design Manager can be configured to catch those freight, shipping, creating reimbursable expenses that are so easily missed but have such a profound effect on the bottom line. We then recalculate the sales tax and we have our updated total amount. Right beneath that we can see our deposit of 220350 and even the Carter's check number as well. And that's our final balance due. Right beneath that we have some custom remarks. 
we can print, email or export. Once all the information on the invoice is to our liking, just like our other print previews, we want to close and accept. We drop off our new tab and now we have our invoice listed on our existing tab.